Saturday, October the 5th, USKA Fight Sports returns to its home, the Parkview Inn, on Bulldog Drive in Allentown, Pennsylvania, with another pro Muay Thai card. Get your tickets at uskafightsports.com, uskafightsports.com. On, we're getting ready for your fight, October 5th, Allentown, PA. And uh, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? Sounds good. Uh, hello, USKA. Uh, my name is Colin Hardy. I'm 22 years old. I'm fighting out of Reading, Pennsylvania. I'm fighting Eric Dowd October 5th at 165 Parkview Inn, uh, 1151 Bulldog Avenue, I think, in Allentown. Bulldog Drive, but you had that down pretty Bulldog. good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so where are you from? Are you in a local area? Yeah, I'm about an hour away from Allentown, a uh, city called Reading, PA uh, is where I come from. I train out of the MMA Academy under Robson Pereira. Um, yeah, it's, we uh, are... We're a yeah, jiu-jitsu school, Muay Thai, boxing, MMA, we cover it all, so uh, we're ready for anything. Is this uh, your first experience in a ring or a cage? No, I um, also did an amateur MMA fight uh, a little over a year and a half ago. Um, I uh, lost a unanimous decision to a uh, guy named James Geiger. Um, pretty much just got wrestled the whole fight, I didn't really get a chance to implement my game. I uh, learned the hard way. Uh, you got to uh, you come prepared or you come ready for a loss. So uh, I learned a lot from that experience. Uh, I took some time off from competing just so I could get ready because you never know when another fight's going to come your way and you don't want to, you know, rush into it again and, you know, suffer another defeat. So now I'm prepared. I'm ready to go. I've, I've gained a lot of experience in that time and I'm ready to show it. Is it strategic for you to go into a... Um kickboxing, uh, glory rule style fight before you go back in MMA, or is this something that you wanted to do independent of the uh, MMA? A little bit of both. I would like to go back into MMA after this, but uh, as of now, I just want to touch base with everything. Uh, I do a lot of jiu-jitsu. I also want to make sure my striking's on point before I go into uh, a whole another rule set where everything is incorporated. So uh, make sure the kickboxing's good, make sure the boxing's good. Make sure the jiu-jitsu is good. Then, make, then you can go and do MMA because you never know who you're going to fight, you know, especially in the Amis. You never know who's good at what and what their weaknesses are. So you just got to make sure your weaknesses are completely irrelevant or non-existent. Right. So your opponent is, I believe, one and one. Um, <laughs> have you watched his fights? I have. I have watched uh, the YouTube fights or the fights that you uh, have on YouTube, yeah. And, you know, has that changed your training style? Have you adjusted in any way? Um, how has that helped you? Um, it's, it's cool to, you know, get a, a face to the name, but my, my training hasn't really altered because of that. Um, I feel as if, if I'm spending so much time focusing on the opponent, I don't get time to focus on myself or improve. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little selfish in that regard. I'm just trying to make sure I'm the best version of myself that I can be before I get in there. But, you know, uh, I've seen, like I said, I've seen some footage, so it helps a little bit, you know, just to see what, what I'm going into, what I'm, uh, what my opponent's capable of. But uh, it's not going to deter me from doing anything that I don't want to, or anything I want to do in the fight. Right, right. How did you get involved in a fight game to begin with? It's a good question. Uh, you know, it's, it's easy to just go about your life not worrying about confrontation or not getting into anything like that. But I've, I've constantly wanted to challenge myself, constantly wanted to push myself and see what I'm capable of. And also, you know, fighting is inherently just scary. It's, it's terrifying to even think about putting on paper two people are just going to fight and really try and do their best to hurt each other. So, you know, it's good to know. It's good to uh, be prepared for anything that could go not only in a competition setting, but just outside in general. You know, you never know what somebody knows, like I said, and, you know, it, it's better to have an upper hand on everybody, uh, especially if something pops off, especially in a, a city like Reading. There's a lot of people out there who are, uh, you know, a little hyper aggressive, a little like, like, to, like to say some stuff. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> if, if things were to pop off, you know, it's, it's always good to know you got something in your back pocket. You can take care of it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So when you started training specifically for this fight, um, how is that different than your normal training? It ramped up a little bit. 
Um, I was actually preparing for a fight in April, and it fell through. The promotion was a little bit, a little, a little sketchy. Uh, so I got a lot of training in before that. And when that fell through, I was just thinking, like, oh, well, now what? I'm kind of back at square one. I did a whole lot of training for nothing. And then USKA came along, and uh, I realized, oh, okay, this is a local promotion. I can get into this. So um, let's do an extra mile. Let's do a couple more hill sprints. Let's do some more minutes on the bag, some pad work, you know. And um, so you doubled, I'm not gonna... you, you doubled down on it. Yeah, it's just a little bit, yeah. Um, and now we're... I'm definitely crossing my T's and dot my I's before I get into anything, uh, but I do believe I'm prepared. Good, good, good. And, and what do you see? What is your ultimate goal with the, the fight business, uh, the fight sports? You know, it, it'd be. Childish. I mean, let, 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 let's assume you're to the point in your life where you can survive the streets of Reading, <laughs> right? Uh, if anybody says anything, you're good to go. Um, you win a few fights in this amateur game and a ring in a cage, or what, what do you ultimately want to do? You know, it'd be, it'd be a little silly to say I want to be a UFC champion, but, you know, it's 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 a dream for sure. But, you know, I want to just be able to defend myself, my family, everything like that, provide uh, with my brain intact. You know, I don't want to go in here and get punched drunk and then leave the sport less of what I was. But uh, I definitely want to compete uh, at the highest of my capabilities and the, the highest I can go. So... Let's see where this goes. Let's see where it ha see what happens, and uh, we'll go from there. I'm not gonna say uh, anything other than that, but we'll see. <laughs> That's awesome. You you have a great attitude and great uh, vision of yourself in the sport. Um, so uh, the fight's about two weeks away. Um, what is your overall training schedule between now and the fight? I mean, is are you still hard sparring? When is that ramp down? Ramp up? What happens here? Um, well, I know uh, my trainer, Robson Pereira, he doesn't let us spar about a week before the fight, just, you know, as a precaution. Um, with our, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he, de yeah he, uh, he definitely has his head screwed on straight, and he wants to make sure we all have our head screwed on straight. So um, we're currently in hard sparring, hard pad sessions. We're doing a, we did like a Shark Tank style sparring session uh, earlier this week. Three minutes, one guy in. Uh, against me, and then another guy in, another guy in. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're going hard right now, but uh, we're going to taper off in about a week and, uh, you know, just make sure the conditioning's there at that point, and uh, we'll be ready for the fight. You have another fighter from the gym fighting as well, correct? Yes, that's my boy Mike, Mike Hipper. Yeah. Mike Hipper, okay. So um, when – how does that help you or hurt you? I mean – a coaches with him, coaches with me, or is it you're pushing each other? How does that dy dynamic help you? It, it's actually a blessing because you're not going into the fight alone. You definitely feel like you have a team mentality, uh, a camaraderie, if you will. Um, we ha we we're not just you know sparring and beating each other up. We actually hang out. We we get, um, I give them rides to and from the gym. Sometimes we hang out outside of the gym. Just talking, you know, just figuring out what we're good at, what we're bad at, what we need to work on, um, <laughs> getting all the blood work done, stuff like that. It's uh, it's a bit of a hassle, but once you get it done, it's it's you can just focus on the fight, and um, yeah, it's it's really nice having that that support system in your gym, uh, and you know. It doesn't hurt to just – well, it does a few times when you get hit in the face by him. But, you know, it's right. good to go out there, spar, get him ready as you're getting yourself prepared as well. That's awesome. Uh, speaking of blood work and paperwork, do you have all that stuff done? Are you, are you good to go? Yes, I believe so. If, and, if uh, anything hasn't been received yet, it is in the mail. Uh, but all the paperwork's done. All the uh, formalities are done. So now I can just focus on the fight. And your, your weight cut, I think you said you got maybe uh, 8, 10 pounds to cut. Is that the correct? Yeah, just about. I'm actually sweating in this hoodie right now, so I can be better prepared for it. Um, but I've, I've done 165. That was my MMA fight as well, so it's nothing I'm not used to. Uh, it only took me a night to cut it. And even still, I was down the 161 by the time we weighed in. So, oh, geez, you know, yeah. maybe so one no problem. in the future. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, good, good, good. All right, um, we're going to wrap this up. I think it went really well. Um, any shout-outs or any thank you, sponsors, trainers, partners? Uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everyone at my gym. Yes, Ventura, who's about to uh, 
work me like crazy with the pads. Uh, Robson Pereira for teaching me. Uh, Team Pereira MMA. Uh, Michael for training with me. Uh, my whole family, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, Kayla, they've been so supportive uh, because when I'm not working, I'm here. And you know, it's it's tough on the social life, but everyone seems to understand. Uh, a bunch of my friends are going to come out and see me and support me. So it, it means a lot for not just to, to say that they're rooting for me, but to actually be there rooting for me. It, right. It's something else. Um, I remember going into uh, my MMA fight and... When I got there, I only sold like four or five tickets because I was nervous of watching my friends watch me fight. Mm-hmm. And then when uh, the guy came out, they, the whole the whole place was like sold out for him. And all of his <laughs> friends were there and they were chanting his name. And I was like, whoa, I should really <laughs> stop doing that from now right. on. Right. So it's going to be nice to have my friends out there. So I can't thank him enough. And uh, yeah, I hope to put on a show for him. No, it's, it's great to have that supporting cast, and uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to your uh, debut at USKA, and um, I just wish you a lot of luck and safe training in the last two weeks, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon in person. Sounds great. Thank you so much right. for having me. Yep, thank you, sir. Take care. Saturday, October the 5th, USKA Fight Sports returns to its home, the Parkview Inn, on Bulldog Drive in Allentown, Pennsylvania, with another pro Muay Thai card. Get your tickets at USKAFightsports.com, USKAFightsports.com.